finished my face makeup, I'm going to move on to my eye makeup. I already prepped my eyelids with some concealer. You can take any concealer or even the foundation that you used on your face. Put that on your eyelid area and blend it out with a sponge. And then you want to take your powder that you used on your face and you want to lightly set that concealer that you placed or foundation or whatever base that you use on your eyelids. You want to set that to make sure that there's no creasing and that it's nice and dry when you go in with your eyeshadow. Now that my eyelids are primed and prepped, I'm going to go in with a very light color from my palette. Tap off any extra powder that you picked up with your brush and you're going to lightly go all over your eyelid like this. And try to stay below this area, see where my eye is going in right here into the socket. That first base color, I just want to stay in that area. I don't want to take it up too high in the beginning. And go back in with that color and I'm gonna just stay in this area. This color is not really gonna be visible. It's more of just a base and a border for where I want the rest of my eyeshadow to go. So I'm just placing that down in this area like that, creating the boundary of where I want the rest of the eyeshadow to go. Next, I'm going to be going in with a color that is slightly darker than the base color that I just put down. So I'm going to look at my palette and I'm going to go to the next, maybe two shades darker than the previous color that I just applied. And so I'm going to go into that color and always make sure you tap off. I don't know if you can see the powder coming off, but it picks up a lot of product. So you don't want to go straight into your eye with all of that product. So make sure you tap it off onto anything. And this color, I'm going to take it right here on the outer part of my eye. I'm just going to pat it in and you can see that this eye has a little bit more dimension than this one. Very subtle. I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to circular motions inward like this. And I want to blend the edge of that. I don't want it to be so harsh on the edges, so I just want to blend inwards like this. Okay, like that. Very natural. I'm going to take that same darker color and go on the other side of my eye. And for this part, you can just pat it on. I'm just going to get the color on there. Don't worry about packing it on too much. But this flatter, denser brush picks up more color, whereas this fluffier brush is good for blending. So if you look for brushes when you're trying to blend out eyeshadow, look for something that's more flexible and fluffy. This is definitely too big for your eye area, but you want something that's a little more fluffy and movable to blend it out. So um, I'm going to go back in just a little bit more to show you guys. How it it looks a little bit dark um, so I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go in a circle inward like this if circles is hard you can just push it like this okay. and you want it to just be more blended and even across the eyelid okay. and the last step would be to take uh, some type of like lighter shimmery tone um, shimmers on mature skin can work, but it has to be the right tone. You don't want to go in with something that is super, super light. You want to go with something that's a little bit more um, warm or less uh, bright. Um, you just want to add a little pop of shimmer to create like a glow, but not adding too much color so I'm just taking my finger because for shimmer using your finger is the best way to apply to get the most color payoff like that and then I will go back in with the lighter shade that I started with and this is where I want to kind of blend upwards a little bit so that this part is more seamless here. So I want to 
and up my eyelid. Just blend out the edges so that it's not too harsh. The key to a good eyeshadow application is to blend all the harsh edges and make sure that there's no separation of color. You don't want to see every single color um, too much. So the last step, I'm going to go in with that same fluffy brush and take a really, really light highlighting color and put that right here under my eyebrow to kind of lift the eye area. If you add like a bright color right here, it kind of lifts the face and the eyes up as well. So. And you also, this is not necessary, but sometimes I like to add that first light color under my eye area right here, just so that it's not so um, light from the concealer. So I'm just adding a little bit with a fluffy brush of that first color under my eye area. To kind of balance it because there's so much color up here and there's really nothing happening down here. So I'm just gonna add that right here. And I also like to brighten the inner corners of my eye with a shadow stick. So something like this, super creamy. I'm just gonna pick that in the inner corners of my eye. And it really opens the eye up. And sometimes I like to take it under my eye right here. It really brightens the eye without adding too much color and gives a nice healthy glow. Next up will be my eyebrows. I already have um, my eyebrows done a little bit, but I'm gonna go in with a pencil and just kind of define the eyebrows. So when you're drawing your eyebrows, you wanna kind of stay in this area. So take the pencil uh, on the edge of your nose and just make a little line right there. Generally, you don't want your eyebrows to come in too far from this part of your nose. It kind of closes up your eyes. And then the outer part, you wanna line it up like this and that will be where you generally want your eyebrows to end okay and then this ang angular part right here you want to go from the outer part of your nose to the middle of your pupil and that's kind of where you want that point to be if you want to point so I'm just gonna gently fill this in so I have some foundation and powder on my eyebrows and so now I just want to just define the eyebrows a little bit you can use a powder, you can even use eyeshadow for eyebrows. And lastly, I'm going to take some liquid liner and create a small wing and fill in my eye area. So, with liquid liner, it helps to kind of rest your hand somewhere on your face so that you have a staple hand. And I like to just move back and forth like this and create a line um, because sometimes it's hard to create just one line. And then I will bring it back and connect it. So the other side. Don't forget the inner corner. You want to make sure that it looks seamless. You don't want to see a separation or skin under your eye area. Just filling that in. Okay, and at this point, if you want to intensify the look, you can also go in with a darker color. For my eye shape, I do like to go in with a little bit of a darker color, so I'm going to go up to the third darkest color in my palette. And I'm just gonna tap right here on the outside. If you have more um, droopy eyes and your eyes tend to go downwards here, if you add a little bit of shadow just on the outer corner, it helps to lift the eye up a little bit and creates more dimension. Um, instead of like going downwards, it kind of lifts the eye. So taking that dark color on the outer part of my eye. and then take your fluffy brush and blend that out. Okay. 
So I already applied my cheek product earlier. I'm gonna go in with a highlight. And this, I'm just taking a flat, fluffy fan brush. And I'm gonna just put that right here on the high point of my cheek. It just creates more dimension on your face and gives like a youthful glow. with your favorite lip color. Today I'm using this bright color here. And if you want more of a youthful look, I like to overline. So take the lipstick a little bit outside of your line area, your lip area. Like so. And then you want to set all that hard work that you've done so that it lasts throughout the day and that even if you sweat, um, your makeup will still be there at the end of the day. So that's when I take a setting spray of any kind. There's hydrating setting sprays, there's long lasting setting sprays. Just take that spray and spray it on your face. And that's the finished look.